goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So sometimes you think or you forget that celebrities, maybe that's not really their their legal names. And Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, that's not his name. So he and his wife and their daughter are all going to legally get their name changed to, their last name changed to Paul. His real last name is Sturdivant, I think. Sturdivant. Uh, hmm. um, uh, is his middle name Paul? No idea. So, pluck it from nowhere? I guess so. Hmm. So um, that's how what he's gone by his entire career. And uh, they all say, you know, that's how they know him. So they don't, he, he doesn't want his wife and, and child to be a different last name. That's one of the reasons I wanted to get married. One of the one of the reasons I wanted to get married is because I wanted to have the same last name as Patrick and Jaden. You know, I always felt yeah. like when I'd pick him up from school, it was like, oh, what, are you even the mom? I don't know. It was <laughs> weird, you know? So, so way, it was cool. His, his last name, uh, his middle name rather, is Paul. Oh, there you go. So will that mean, is he going to change his legal last name to Paul too? That's what he said. So yeah, his name's going to be Aaron it. Paul Paul? Or he'll just maybe drop the middle name and not have one. It's weird. Yeah, I nice. can't imagine. It's tough for women. You guys are, it's a tough position. You have to change your whole identity. I mean, just your last name. Uh, that's doesn't matter what, what it though. is. That's a big deal. I can't imagine re- replacing Tempesta with Smith. I think that's a guy thing. I, I mean, but a lot, some people don't do that anymore. Some people yeah. say, save or keep their name or hyphenate it or whatever. I was fine with it. <laughs> there, was a, there was a story in the news, I'm sorry, where there was uh, people, two, uh, a, a man and a woman were getting married and they both had hyphenated last names. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you choose? <laughs> yeah, what do you even do from there? <laughs> in high school, there was a, a girl that dated um, this guy and his name was John Ashley and her name was Ashley Reynolds. So if they got married, it'd be Ashley Ashley. <laughs> so weird, right? <laughs> Um, so Johnny Depp is a wanted man, not for the courts, but everybody in Hollywood wants to work with him. I mean, everybody. Why? And Rihanna is having him have make a huge guest appearance at her um, her Fenty uh, show. Cindy okay. Crawford's going to be there. He's going to be like one of the main attractions. He's going to be the first man uh, to be in the uh, Savage X Fenty wow. show. All yeah. Right. Hey, good, so, good for Johnny. I'm sure, Depp. I know, and I'm sure she's paying him big money because she is what the richest um, female right now in Hollywood, or, or like she's, she's billionaire be, yeah. status. She's that's making, for sure. She's making bank. So making bank. Clooney, Aniston, Sudeikis, all of them. They got a ton of money, and they are offering up their services and some goods, uh, all for veterans. So it's home for our troop, homes for our troops in honor of Veterans Day, and they're having this auction where you can. Um, try to get lunch with Paul Rudd. You can go to work with Ben Stiller. You can get a watch from George Clooney, a bag from Jennifer Aniston. All these things are up for grabs in this auction, and 100% of the proceeds are going right towards veterans, which is awesome. Or you can embarrass your ex-wife with Jason Sudeikis. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. (laughs) Or go for the better cause and support our troops. Of course. Uh, That is going on through November 13th, so we'll get that link up at 1027VGS.com. 